driving towards equality. These are just a few of the professional golfers who've signed up for a new northern-based tour for both men and women. It's the brainchild of former European tour player Chris Hansen from Huddersfield. There's just no, not enough playing opportunities around for, for ladies and not, and not enough playing opportunities around for men. So to get everyone together, um, to, to make it as fair as possible that they can play for the same prize money um, and, and just get more and more numbers playing golf, and it just, it just felt the right time to do it. Golf has always been a sport played by both sexes. This film from the 1920s shows an amateur competition. But as far as professional golf goes, apart from the odd event, it's believed this will be the first time men and women will compete together in a season-long tour. Obviously the men and women playing together after for the same prize fund. Um, we had a tournament on the European Tour last year in Jordan. I think it was the first time using that concept, so it's, it's great to see some more. Mini tours for the women in, in the UK just don't exist for women alone. Um, and so play a joint tour equal with the men. Um, I think it's a great idea. It's a really good opportunity for us girls to, you know, kind of compete against the men and show what we're capable of. Is it about time? It is about time, yeah. It's, it's really good, though, that they're giving us this opportunity, you know, to showcase that we are, we are, can be up there with their performance, oh, yeah, nice. um, you know, give the boys a run for their money. <laughs> Fulford in York will be one of 20 courses in the north of England used throughout the year. And research done by the European Tour estimates that men hit the ball 11% further than women, so each course will play 11% shorter for women. It's certainly a unique concept, but one which organisers hope will soon become par for the course. Chris Dawkes, ITV News, York.